Hey, this is Ava and M, and we are at St. Mary's Junior and Senior High School here in St. Mary's, Kansas. I almost said St. Mary's, Ohio. This is the no. second time I've done that. No, we are not in Ohio not right now. Kansas. That's for a later time. So tonight, we are going to some junior high basketball games. Mm -hmm. Now, you're thinking to yourself, self, isn't that kind of creepy? Well, let me no. let you in on a little secret. Uh, Emily works here, okay, and she Yay, teaches junior high Yay, go students. junior high, they're so, rock stars. what's the agenda for tonight, Em? Okay, so we've got some 7th and 8th grade A and B team going on. We've got some cheerleaders to interview. We've got some pep club members to interview. And we also have a special person who is going to help us tonight, Mr. William Lukert. So he's gonna help us out. He's been helping us with questions and just prep. And he's gonna, he, he's, he's like a, a trainer, like a trainee. So it's gonna be awesome. And then we've got some cheerleaders who are going to, um, um, they're, they, they're waiting for the A team. Okay, so we're going to be interviewing them later. They got a little preview of what they're going to do in the next game. And uh, let's get started. Let's go. Yay. So we've got the pep club and the cheerleaders here for the St. Mary's Junior High. And they are amazingly awesome and loud because I know they're loud because they're all in my class. Cheerleaders, what is the hardest cheer you do? Limb extension. I'm assuming your mission is to try out for the high school team. What are you doing now to prepare for that? I don't um, know. Go Bears, let's fight. Let's go Bears, let's fight. Go Bears, let's fight. I'll go Bears, let's fight. Okay. So, do you guys have like a list that you follow? Some or is it just it what's happening with the game? Okay. Has any of you been injured by basketball or basketball players? Like you run into I ball ball. You got hit by a ball? Yeah. Okay. In the pep club, who is kind of like, I would say, the leader of the pep club? Like, you kind of organize, like, this is what we're going to do now. Me. What's your favorite one to do? Favorite cheer? Do you normally stand during the entire game? Yeah. Okay. Only A game. Only A game. Only the A game. Okay. So, anything that you would like to tell next year's junior high kids, because the majority of the, you guys are all eighth graders, what would you tell them to have more fun at the game? Yeah. Yeah. No. Be, loud. Be, really loud. Be really loud. Be really loud. Go have to all the your games. Junior high is not as hard as the sixth grade teachers tell you. If they will tell you that junior high is scary and it's this won't pass high. High. I know. Most of it will. Okay, so we're here with the eighth grade A team basketball players. Guys, how do you feel about tonight's game? Good. You feel good? You ready? You feel pumped? Do you feel prepped? Are you stretched out? No, we're not stretched out. We need to stretch out. Okay, <laughs> what have you done in the last week to prep for this big Rossville versus St. Mary's game? Ran a lot of offensive plays. Offensive plays? Practice, yeah. practice, 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 practice. Do you guys have a favorite play that you love to run? What? Four game. Four game. I don't know what that means, but I guess Good if I hear it yell, now I know. I'll watch. Now, what would you like to tell next year's eighth graders? for basketball. Play hard. Have fun. Have fun. Go to practice. Go to practice. You don't want to skip the games. Okay, cool. All right, well, we'll let you cheer for your peeps because they're awesome. Yes, they are.
Mr. Todd, or Coach Todd, I guess. Um, I call him Mr. Todd, but he is the seventh grade and uh, A and B team basketball coach. B team just got done. And they have like totally improved since the last time I saw them. What is the best thing about your seventh graders that you love? Their excitement. Yes. They, they just get excited for the game. They, they love do. the game. They do. A lot of fun to coach. They love to be like they always are like, do you have your uniform? Do you have it? They're very excited about all that. Full of energy. Full of energy, yes, <laughs> they are. So uh, you're headed into your A game for the seventh grade. And you have any special like things that you're gonna tell them? Like what's the big thing that you like your line? Do you have like a line that you always tell well, them? Well we got a tough matchup tonight, so I'm a ball security is one thing, it's a big thing, and just not to get I don't want them, even though if if I'm gonna fall behind here, I don't want them to start playing desperate and throwing the ball away, taking you know, a bunch of chances. I want to treat it as a practice and awesome. just focus on fun. Okay, well thank you so much for coaching because getting coaches is amazing and giving your time to junior high kids is super duper amazing. So thank you very much for your time. And next, we're gonna talk to Coach Marple. Yes! And we are now here with Coach Marple. He coaches um, eighth grade A and B boys basketball. And he just finished his B team game, yeah. um, and they were playing super duper hard. It was so awesome to see their shooting skills come yes. along. So Noah was just like yeah. shooting it up. It was so awesome. Yeah, we get a little bit excited sometimes. There's so a little bit of too excitement. Um, we don't know what to do with our hands sometimes, but you, know, you just gotta get through that. You gotta get through that, and uh, once we get through that, we're gonna be really good. So very proud of all of them. They play really hard. Try always hard. They're good kids. Always have fun. So. What's your favorite team thing about the B team? Like, what is like? I, they have like a personality. They're wanting to get better. Is my favorite. That's awesome. Always wanting to get better, That's no matter great. what it is. They always want to get better. Well, thank you very much for You're your welcome. time. I really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. So now we are here with the amazing people who volunteer to run the book and the scoreboard during games. We need as many volunteers in schools as possible, and these two have graciously accepted to help us. Well, Mrs. Burke is running the scoreboard, correct? Okay. Yes. And she right. is so cool. And then, as you can see, Miss Maggie is working hard trying to get things squared away for the next game with the coaches and our athletic director, and everything is awesome. Is that Mr. Myron Flax? This is Mr. Myron Flax. Oh my Flax. goodness, there he is Mr. again. Mr. Myron Flax <laughs> is amazing. Miss Maggie, do yes. you uh, do this as much as you can to help the school out? I do. I know they have a hard time trying to get people to to uh, have the time. <laughs> I come and watch my adopted kids there you do go. their thing. Nice. And Mrs. Maggie nice. teaches science to 7th and 8th graders at our school, really? and she is a rock star. Science. So we are all helping out, and we all do wonderful things to help our school be super duper awesome. Go Bears! Go Bears! For, this, for the first part of this game, it has been uh, very good for us at Mary's team. It is 14 to 9 right now. So far, it, ha it seems that Roscoe might have an advantage because they're a little bit taller, but it seems the St. Mary's have just pulled it off. the ball like went totally by your head. Like I thought it's gonna take you out. What were your feelings on that, Brady? I don't know, but my life just flashed before my eyes. Oh my gosh, what did you see it happen, Gabe? I thought he was a goner. So this round it seems like both teams have slow down overall. Even though both sides have scored four times, I have seen a miraculous slowdown on either side. Rossville slowing down but like not being not running to 
the other side of the court as fast as they could. And also St. Mary's lo losing their touch and not being able to block as well and score. Will Rossville rise up and win the game or will St. Mary's reign superior? up the ball very much but this time I did it a lot. So you were more aggressive. Awesome. Did you have fun? Awesome. All right. What are your plans for when do you play next? I think I'm gonna pass it more. Okay. And so you you, you have another game on Thursday, is that right? Yes. Okay, and where are you guys going? Uh, I think it's Silver Lake. Awesome. All right, well go do your best. Go Bears. We've got William now with the wrap up of uh, this game that we just watched. What a heck of a game, huh? Uh for for this last quarter it it has been a tight game, like the whole game. I honestly thought that we would have won during the first and second quarter, but it appears that on the fourth quarter, the dogs were able to catch up with us. And when it came down to overtime, they, they were just barely able to make enough points to beat us. It was like two points, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, close game. Good job, Bears. Hopefully, in the future, it will be a close game. Bears victory? Yeah, Bears yeah, victory. Yeah, that's all right. We'll get them again. Again, good job, dog. Good job, Bears. That was really stressful for me and a yeah. lot of other people who were watching. But a real nail biter. Yeah. Good job, Bears. Go, Bears. The games are over. It's. Um, before eight o'clock, which is really cool. We, we went into an overtime on the A-team game. Yeah, I thought we were gonna go into double overtime. But yeah, but didn't, so. didn't, didn't go our way, but I'm super proud of our boys. They, all of them, did such a good yep. job tonight and they've improved on what they have done. So um, shout out to the Bear boys who are just, I love you all. You are all so awesome. And thank you for playing and representing our school so well and being good sportsmen. And that's like 95% of the battle. So thank you. Yep, and thanks to the coaches mm -hmm. and the officials and the scorekeepers and everybody who works the game because it does take a team to make this kind of event happen. It doesn't just happen. Right. And so right now, even as we're speaking, there's somebody that's cleaning up after mm -hmm. the game. And so it takes a whole team effort to make this sort of thing happen. So we just want to shout out to all of those folks Absolutely. who come together to do this. Yeah, custodians, they're yep. cleaning up right now of all the popcorn on the floor and sweeping the gym for tomorrow's school. And because it's it's Tuesday, so we have yep. we have school tomorrow. So, all right, well. Which means you have work. I do, yeah. so do you. But, so do I, you know. okay. But um, I really like watching our students in a different um, area instead of just in the classroom. It's really cool to see them do their thing, so. This has been Ava Dunn Adventures. Yeah, remember that every day is an adventure.